Hey guys, random cat driving vlog here. Uh, I'm not holding my camera or really paying that much attention to it because uh, this may be surprising, but I don't feel like dying on the road. Dying on my own terms, yes. Dying by other people's terms, cringe. Um, yeah, so what I wanted to talk about was like this drink I got. Uh, I don't know if the text on it is even going to show up on camera with how the lighting is in here, but it's called Odyssey Mushroom Elixir, a sparkling mushroom elixir drink. So, yeah, I'm shopping at my local Overstock store. I see this and I'm like, huh, well, this looks like a bunch of interesting bullshit. Might as well try it, because I'll try anything once. On the back it says, Odyssey sparkling elixirs were crafted to enhance your energy. Focus, energy plus focus, sorry, by utilizing highly concentrated adaptogenic mushrooms to elevate your day. Our elixirs embody the sacred geometric shape of Metatron's Cube. Sorry about the pauses. Again, I'm not focusing on this because I'm driving which is used to activate positive thoughts, allowing you to harness your own personal powers to do good. Um, which is, that's nice. I didn't even read the back before buying it. I just saw the cool looking can and I was like, ooh, that might be interesting. Uh, again, I don't know if it's even showing up, but it has like a night sky with like nebula or aurora borealis shit going on. It's like, yeah, the can's cool, the can's cool. But the drink, it's advertised as mixed berry, and you know, it's its a mushroom elixir, so I don't know what I was expecting, but it, it just tastes like fucking mushrooms. And again, mushroom elixir, don't know what I was expecting, but it's advertised as tasting like mixed berry, and like, yeah, to be fair, to be fair, there is a bit of mixed berry in there. You can definitely tell that they use, like, berry juice or whatever in it, but... That flavor is very much drowned out by the mushroom flavor. And they used a couple different types of mushrooms. They used cordyceps and lion's mane. Uh, I don't know much about lion's mane. Cordyceps is the stuff that like, I think it's the stuff that infects ants and like turns them into zombie ants. That's a whole thing. Um, but apparently consuming it is good for humans somehow. I don't know. Again, I didn't really buy this thing because of the health benefits. I just thought, huh, neat, I'll try it. And yeah, um, unless this thing somehow ends up uh, unlocking my seventh chakra and making me a spinjitsu master, probably won't buy, be buying it again. Because yeah, the marketing's neat, but it's not enough to get me to drink your goddamn mushroom soda. Now, I see the full bottle, or full can, as it were, because, like, when you grow up poor, you get kind of obsessive about not wasting anything. And, like, even if you're not poor, just wasting edible things just because, you know, you're... It's not the best tasting thing in the world. It's just kind of a dick move. Um, just, sorry, I have this whole thing about wasting food that I, that would be a whole other rant on its own, not gonna lie. Um, anyway, 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 so yeah, I guess that's all I really had to say. I don't know why I felt the need to make a video about this, I just thought it was like something unique I haven't really seen or experienced before, which is kind of rare these days. It's something that didn't make me feel numb to the world, which is, I suppose, good or bad, that's something I kind of needed. So, there's that. Uh, that's about it. Um, I'm gonna see if I can hit the stop recording button without looking at the phone. Because, like, again, third time, fourth time, I don't know how many times I've said this, driving, don't want to crash and die. Death a car accident is cringe and unbased. Um, 
if it's your fault, if it's someone else's fault, it's like, whatever. I always, first rule of driving, first rule of driving for me, always drive like the other drivers are out to kill you because so many people are so bad at handling these two-ton death machines that they might as well be trying to kill you. And, and I'm not saying I'm the safest driver around. I'm, I can be a little, uh, I can be a little goofy, a little gaffy, a little, a little goofy guy sometimes, but, you know, I limit it to stuff like slightly speeding, and sometimes I fuck up and make a turn too late or too early, or turn into the wrong lane, but it's just like small shit, and I don't... I never put other people in danger with my stunts. That's that's the main thing. I'm fine with people like doing whatever as long as they don't hurt other people. And I, that applies to driving too, but man, this is totally off topic from what I was talking about. Anyway, I'm pulling up into my driveway. Um still live with my parents, so I will not be able to use any more curse words. Henceforth, I will be ending this video now. Love you, everybody. Bye-bye.